Hey everyone, welcome back to Matplotlib series of tutorials. Today, I'm going to be talking to all those interested parties in latitudes and longitudes and data on Earth. We're going to be talking about contour plots. So the biggest use case of contour plots is trying to plot properties on Earth on a geological scheme, not necessarily on a geological scheme, but also geographical scheme. So if you want to plot anything on lats and longs, say, for example, uh, the density of population, you want to understand where in the city that you live in, the household in that area has a bigger number of family members. So you want to show where in the city is hotter, where it is colder in terms of population. Or probably you want to say about the land price. You want to say in this area of the city, the rich people live and there is a higher price for per square meter. And in this part of the city, the, the prices are average. So anything on earth and anything in terms of location, you can use contour plots. If you look at my screen, these are all different examples of making a contour plot. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make them based on your data. Before we go on, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have heaps of interesting content coming your way. Thanks. Let's get into it. Before I go on with making a contour plot in Python, what I'm going to do, I have prepared an Excel sheet here, and I'm going to give you a very simple example. Let's consider this the city that we live in, in terms of area. And let's consider we are investigating the number of children in every household. What I want to do, I want to take eight blocks of land because I don't want to make it really complicated just a bit more. Okay. Think of this as a regularized grid that we put different sections of the city in, in each of those squares. And I'm going to choose um, these and put them in the middle. And I'm going to say, okay, around the city, there are not many children in the household. So let's put zeros everywhere. I want to show you what a contour does. There is a household here that has got one child. Another household here got one child. This one is zero. What I am doing I am trying to say, as we go to the center of the city, there are more children in the household. Probably it's because closer to the schools. So let's make ones here, zero and zero. There are still not many children because it's a, a poor part of the city. I want to say this area is the hot area. So there are two here and one and one. So you get the idea. You can see that this area of the city is the hot part of the city. So this I am showing in terms of numbers, but how can I show that in terms of a heat map? I saved this very Excel sheet as a CSV file, the contour underscore data .csv. Feel free to go ahead and download the code and the data from my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. And if you want to follow along with me. Now, let's make a new Jupyter notebook. Give it a proper name, matplotlib underscore number 13. And this one is about contour plots. Um, before anything, from matplotlib import pyplot as plt, import pandas, because I'm going to be using pandas to read the CSV file, and also import numpy in case I will need it. I'll just say contour data. I want to make a new variable, call it contour data, use pandas read CSV file, and the file I'm going to be reading is contour data.csv. So if I view the contour, contour underscore data, there are not any column names because that was a raw format of the data. There is no column names. There are no row names. There are some NAN values. I don't really care about them. The contour function can handle them. I am not really fussed about them. This is not a good thing to do, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to really worry about that. So that's the contour data. If I say PLT bigger of fig size equals to seven by seven and use PLT contour of contour data, you will see that I will make a contour plot. So this is pretty much what I was talking about. There are more children in the center of this city. And as you go outside the city, the number of children in family households drops. So if you see this white area around here, that's because of these NAN values and the fact that the contour map has started plotting the top from the bottom. So it has reversed the order. I'm not really fussed about it. Let me put a semicolon at the end of this so that this line disappears. And now let's work on making this plot a bit pretty. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to matplotlib contour. This is the official web page for the matplotlib contour function. XY, yes, we did 
provide x, y to the contour, um, to the contour function, z, which is the values inside these. So these are the z values. It is zero here, zero, one here, three, and x and y are the location values. So that's the x and that's the y and the z values are the ones in between. So we have provided those as well. Levels is the number of contour lines and the dip and the, and the gap between each contour line. For example, in terms of children, do you want to change contour lines from zero to one child, one child to two children, or do you want to go zero to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to one? I don't think it really makes sense in terms of talking about children. There's not such a thing as 0.5 children, so we will stick to one. The next thing I'm going to talk, talk about is the colors. If I go ahead and set the colors to red, it will change all the line colors to red. I, I don't think it's really ideal. I'm just going to hold on to it because I'm going to come back. Is the alpha. If you have seen my previous videos, you will know that alpha is the transparency. So now they are only 30% visible. I'm going to set it to one. I want them to be full color. The next thing which is really important is the C map or the color map. So the C map determines what range of colors do you want to use. So if I use the blues, it's not going to really work. I've set the colors to red and I want to use the C map of blues. It's not going to really work. So I'm going to get rid of that. And now you can see that I am using the blues. The default is the various, but you can go with the grays. That will give you a gray. You can go with the greens. You can go with turbo, which is my favorite. And origin, the data that we input had the higher number of children somewhere up the northwest. However, the plot shows it in the southwest. So it kind of has flipped the data. We can change the origin. So if I set the origin to upper, you will see that now the contour map matches the data because we have more children around here, which is this section of the city. And that sits really well with the contour map. Previously, it was with the lower, that's why it had flipped the plot. Another thing that you want to change, you might want to change is the line width. So currently, the line width is kind of really slim. If I set it to three, it's going to be even stronger line width. You can change the line styles to solid, dashed, dash dot, and dotted, and so forth. So yeah, this is a very simple um, contour map. If I want to add more aesthetics, I'll say PLT title of number of children in this city and uh, that's going to be the title i can add a plt grid with an alpha of 0.3 to make it a bit uh, nicer to look at so currently i don't really know what red color means does it mean three children ten children what i can do i can say plt dot color bar i can add a color bar that shows this purplish color is zero all the way to this brownish darker color is four children, which would be just in the center. Um, I just need to set this to eight because I like to have a square plot. And now I have a color bar, which is not too bad. The last but not the least, you might wonder why this contour map is not filled in. Why are there lines, but there is no color gradient between the lines. So I'm going to introduce you to matplotlibcontourf function. So the contour F function is just a bit different with contour function because it has filled contours. The arguments are pretty much the same. All you need to do when you say plt.contour, add an F to the end of it. And that will look much nicer as opposed to not filled in situation. Contour F function doesn't really care about line width. That's why I'm getting this red um, error please read the errors on your Python interface. Those are for you to make changes. So get rid of this line of width because it's not used. And now I will not get that. What is really happening with this white area are these NAN values. What I can, what I can do, I can just filter this column and this row. I'll say from contour data, take only using the ILOC function. I want you to take from the rows zero to six and from the columns zero to seven and if i plot that i will get rid of those white rims around the plot i hope you enjoyed the tutorial on contour plots in map mm -hmm. if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next lecture